bend the knee to the orange Jesus. And you better be careful about the bed that you make. Donald Trump actually has said that he wants to build alligator moats. The American people are listening. They are, and they're tired of the partisanship of this Republican majority that has failed to get things done. Republicans are back at it again, this time trying to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over the border issue, despite publicly saying they wouldn't meaningfully legislate on the issue strictly for political gain. Well, at a hearing about this exact issue, numerous Democrats called out the hypocrisy and blatant lack of regard to actually solve this issue coming from the right, in which they had no answer for. Let's start with this just beautiful summarization from Dan Goldman. He's passed numerous policies that would have streamlined the asylum process through ports of entry where migrants are vetted that would have presumptively made ineligible anyone trying to cross the southern uh, could cross the border in between ports of entry and would have done a number of different things to address the problems republicans went to court to sue him to stop him from implementing the policies to address the border. So your own party is sabotaging and undermining this administration's efforts to address the border while you are trying to impeach him by saying that they're not addressing the border. The hypocrisy is the least of it. Your attack on the rule of law and our democracy is the worst of it. And you better be careful about the bed that you make. That's just exactly how you do it. It's crazy that somehow Republicans have emboldened this idea that they're the party of the border when they've now publicly and clearly shown that they don't care to solve the issue if it gets them a few political points. And it's just frustrating that mainly because of pre-existing political stereotypes, they can kind of get away with it, polling better than Democrats on the issue, even though Biden has tried to pass border reform and Republicans sued him. Biden added 14 billion in aid for the border in a bill and Republicans wouldn't touch it because there was also Ukraine aid in it. So Biden then has the Senate work on a deal without the Ukraine aid and gets tougher on the border in the meantime. So the, so the Republicans in the Senate will agree on it and House Republicans say, yeah, we don't care. It's dead on arrival anyway. This is not how you meaningfully legislate and it's not how you get anything done in Congress. This is the right just trying to obstruct this administration at any cost, even at the behest of their own voters, because they could just go on Fox and do a little song and dance and they'll vote for them anyway. It doesn't really matter. Donald Trump actually has said that he wants to build alligator moats along the border. That's one of his incredible ideas. Another idea that Donald Trump has promoted is he actually wants to electrify the border fence and maybe even put some spikes on the border. That's another Donald Trump and MAGA majority border idea. Another idea, which I'm not sure how, how well it would go, is he wants to actually bomb northern Mexico with missiles. That's another Trump idea. All of this he literally did say it was confirmed privately by dozens of officials and high ranking members in his own administration, which again just shows how serious Republicans are on this issue, which is not at all. And I think Democrat Rob Melendez actually sums it up better than I could. So take a listen. You bend the knee to the orange Jesus as you refer to him uh, across the aisle. That's what this is about. And we have failed failed our jurisdiction on this committee. So I'm tired of being lectured. You know, I try to listen here. I try to be a team player. I really do. I try not to engage in the partisanship, but I've had it. I've listened to a lot of accusations here today. We are here on a sham impeachment hearing because of the partisanship of this committee and enough is enough. Ms. Green asked the American people, the American people are listening, they are, and they're tired of the partisanship of this Republican majority that has failed to get things done. You can just feel the frustration in his words, and I think it's a sentiment that can be mirrored in all of us. It's tiring listening to MAGA Republicans fight harder for impeachments than legislation or things that we actually care about. They can barely get along with themselves, vacating House speakers, threatening to vacate the next one, saying, if you're not MAGA, you're not even a Republican. And then you look across the aisle and there, there's a complete unwillingness to work there. I mean, there's barely a willingness to work within themselves. And 
And this is not how government is supposed to be. This is not where our tax dollars are supposed to go to meaningless political theater. So Marjorie Taylor Greene can like bolster her Twitter or something with clips of owning the libs. And I believe that as long as we have these type of MAGA Republicans littering up and owning, holding seats in Congress, we will continue to have historically unproductive productive congresses to show for it because they're not going to work together. They're not going to work with themselves and nothing's going to get done, whether they have the majority or whether they're in the minority, they're just going to do whatever in their power they can to obstruct anything getting done. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video, because the only way we become a society is together.